Yoshi was on. Thank you very much. You're in. Look what I got. I got a bunch of stuff. So like last month, if you remember, last month we did a mass unboxing of all the, um, of some Star Wars content. And that video went down really well. I wanted to get through a bunch of reviews in one go. So I did one massive video last month where, where we featured Luke Skywalker and Yoda and a bunch of the new Black Series stuff like Plo Kloon and some of the other characters. So I want to do something similar. This time we've got Moon Knight, War Machine and the Motorcycle Punisher. So I want to go through all three of those figures in one big video. So get a cup of coffee, sit back, relax and let's do some Marvel Legends. Alright guys, I hope you've got, got your coffee. Hope you paused the video there and went and grabbed yourself a drink because we're going to be here for a little while. Let's start with Moon Knight, a character that I'm not overly familiar with. It's not a character that is on my radar um, of comic books, I'm afraid. I know he's a part of the Marvel, well, he was a part of the Marvel Knights over the years, featuring Daredevil, Electro, Blade, and some others. Um, and he's featured in some of the video games like Marvel uh, Ultimate Alliance. But that's as much as I know about Moon Knight. Uh, I got the figure because it looks awesome. I love how the figure looks. And I think I can make some really cool action figure photography out of this. And he also comes with that cloaked head as well, which I really like. You saw the, the black version of the face, which I think looks awesome. And I think with if, if we're casting shadows on an action figure photo photography photo, I think it would look really cool. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the figure on the back of the packaging. It does have a nice shot there with some uh, with some write up, which does state a vision in an Egyptian temple leads Mark Spector uh, to don a shroud and become the crime fighting hero Moon Knight. Let's go ahead and break him out of the box, guys. Marvel Legends. Oh, I like the back of the box. Look at the back of the box with the eyes and stuff. That's cool, man. Okay, so he's got a spare set of hands with him. Uh, at the moment, he's got his, uh, he's got his closed fisty cup hands, but he does come with two, uh, well, like gun trigger hands, technically. But they're for the um, for his additional accessories. He's got the uh, I don't know if he's got a special name, but basically, these really cool weapons. Little moons, <laughs> like moon throwing stars, basically. <clears throat> He's also got a bow staff, which is the same one I believe that's been with Gambit. Does it break apart this this one, or is it just one solid piece? Uh, I believe that to be one solid piece, just like Gambit's. And then we do have the secondary shrouded head. That's pretty cool. And that is actually firmly glued into that figure as well. Although it could be separated quite easily from it if you wanted to use it for a custom. You could get this shroud off if you wanted to. It would pull away, but it would leave a little... There's like I think, I think it's like glued to the top of the head with like a little bit of a nub from what I can see under there. So you might leave a little bit of an indent in the figure's head. I talk about those things because some people do do, I, do actually message me when I do these reviews and ask about certain parts of figures and like if they could be customised or whatever. Um, the, the other day after the Punisher review, somebody messaged me, and, and, sorry not the Punisher, the Apocalypse review, somebody messaged me wanting to know all about the what parts of the, the costume were removable for customs and stuff, so a lot of people out there do like to custom these figures, me included. Alright, so here is Moon Knight in the solid white. The cloak has got some... It's straight out of the packaging, but it's covered in grime and muck, which is disgusting. From the, from the factory line. But either way, the figure itself is beautifully white. It's very nice. There's not much in the way of... Um, obviously, because there's not normally we get paint bleeding issues, but with this being a solid white figure with only a few black pieces, you can see that they've actually taken time to make that really nice. The black really pops around the eyes. And as well, um, the silver does overlap the black outline a little bit on the moon on the chest, but not enough that you would notice it from far away. It's only when you look up close that you actually even see it. From far back, it's fine. Same with the eyes, they just look really cool. Like I said, they really pop on there as well. And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and pop that head off, which also means you can remove the cloak as well, should you wish to. And again, we've got that secondary head sculpt. 
to pop on, and then we've got the black face on there as well. So that's nice. And again, he's got his two fisticuff hands right now, which are solid. Let's go ahead and put the other head back on. Um, but we can't actually change those hands out. For these hands, which they are gun trigger hands, come on, I wish they weren't gun trigger. I wish they'd just fold that finger in. Because he's not got a gun. I wish they'd hold that, push that in, so that we could just have a solid hand to hold the bow staff. Because everyone's going to display him with the staff, because that's what Moon Knight has in the comics. He always has the staff. And I'm going to change that other hand out as well, so I don't like fisticuff hands. Just like the in open palmish hands. The hands we can do things with. So if I have that, I'd probably put one of these in there. Oh, they're just not going to stay in there. <laughs> so he's got these little moon crescents. You can't really put them in his hand very well. They do just slide straight through. I want it to look like he was going to throw one. So you've got to put them in a certain way, otherwise they just fall out. Ugh. Oh yeah, they're, they're going to get lost in seconds. They're like little toenail clippings. Nah, I'm not, I'm not digging them. Not digging them. So basically these little... You've got the big ones, and then you've got these tiny ones that I'm referring to as, no, as, as toenail clippings. Disgusting. <coughs> the, where, where on earth are you going to put them? I might shove one in his belt, and but that's, that, that, that just looks silly. There's nowhere to like store them, holster them. They're just accessories that are going to get lost in seconds by some kid. Maybe I can shove it there like that. <laughs> and I've been reaching for it, I don't know. There we go. Does that look alright? Like he's about to throw it and reach for it. Uh, probably not. Let's get rid of them and let's just use the... We'll go back to the closed fist hand on that one. Okay, so there's Moon Knight, guys. I know it was a long-awaited figure. A lot of people were very excited when Moon Knight was announced. Oh my god, he's got brownie shoes on his boot as well. There's more grime and muck on this thing. And on the shoes. Jeez, man. Anyway, you'll see the old close up when we go down to the desk cam in a little bit. Not overly impressed with that figure. That's the first Marvel Legend in a while that I've kind of gone, meh, ah. The secondary sculpt head, love it. The hands, brilliant. They're white. We don't get many plain white hands like that. Uh, the accessories are brilliant. The cloak is brilliant. All in all, nice figure. If you're a fan of Moon Knight, you're probably going to love it. If you're not a fan of Moon Knight, that is some great custom fodder. <laughs> but, yeah, that's just me. That's one guy's opinion. And I'm probably going to get flamed in the comments because I know Moon Knight is beloved and everyone loves Moon Knight. Let's get on to my personal favourite that I've been looking forward to. It's War Machine! I've been looking forward to this for so long. This is Colonel James Rhodey Rhodes. Unleash a torrent of explosive devastation from the air as War Machine. Ooh. He does come with a bunch of the accessories that were included with the uh, 2020 Iron Man. And it comes with a nice unmasked head as well from the comic book version of, 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 uh, of Rhodes as well, which looks awesome. And as well, he's got a boatload of new missile barrages that, that obviously we can use with War Machine, but obviously will port to Iron Man as well. It comes with a couple of the gun sizzles as well, so we can use those with Black Widow and stuff as well. I love these big packs because we get accessories that are, uh, you know, across the board can be used with other figures. Always present a world of possibilities. Loving the back of the box as well on this one. It's got a nice American sort of military star seal, if you want to call it that. This looks nice. That unmasked head is so good. And do you know, do you know what else, actually, looking at it? If you wanted to, you could probably get away with using that head as a comic book version of um, M'Baku as well from Black Panther. 
Because it does look like him in the comics. I'm not just, I'm going to Google that now, just I'm, I'm, conv I'm convincing myself now. I'm pretty sure that would look good. Let me get my... Yeah, it would. It would look decent. I know you can't see what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> so basically, I've just Googled it, and yeah, you, you could get away with using this, and there's uh, an unmasked uh, M'Baku head as well. It could be easily customised, because obviously uh, in the film, uh, Winston Duke uh, has sort of like wispy, sort of not ginger, but not, you know what I mean, like tips to his hair. So you could probably add those in with a bit of colour quite easily. And he does have the full beard and the moustache and everything. So and he's got, you know, he's got the eyes and everything. So I mean, that could work as a really decent custom head. Still pretty other. I think so. I think so anyway. <laughs> Let's go ahead and unbox the rest of Rhodes. Oh, Marvel Legends love to put lots of sellotape on these things nowadays. Why? Oh, those little rockets come off. Ooh. Interesting. Some more fodder to get lost in my toy box. I'm not sure how I feel about them coming off. Wish they were sculpted to it. Are we going to have more things that are going to be able to clip on there in the future? Is that the idea? Another rounded one. More sellotape there. We've got the stands with the big flamey feet bits. Oh my god, come out. There we go. Another one. And another one. We've got the Black Widow Sizzly Gun Pieces, I love them. They're great for pistol effects on photos. And you know I found as well, by the way? You can, you can hate me if you want in the comments, but I have found that using those accessories um, do part as well to, to uh, DC figures. I've got a picture on my Instagram right now using Harley Quinn, and I gave her a big, big pistol with the uh, effect piece coming off of it to make it look like it smoked. So it looked like she just shot the gun. And it looked really good. Right, all the pieces are out. Woo, that took some doing. Okay, so these little tiny rockets, they do actually come off of uh, the effect piece. So we can have these little rockets that do pour on and off, which is interesting. Um, I'm not sure why you would ever want them to not be on here though. This is a cool effect. We've never had this effect before. Is it so we can have put other effects on? But they're, no, because they've got different port things. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, they do come off, which is pretty cool. It's a cool effect. Where's that even going to go? Ah, oh, does that go on there? Ah, that goes on there. So that's cool. So that, that then initiates that. <laughs> ah, I like it. That's cool. Then we've got the other one as well, which slots over the other gun, so we can make that one fire as well. Awesome. And then, of course, then we've got the usual flying as well. Uh, we've got the usual effects pieces. we got these recently um, in the solid amber colours, so I'm liking the fact that I've added some black and smoke colours here as well. We use those with these to pour into there, so we slide those in to create big stands for War Machine's feet to have him give him that floating effect or the take-off effect. Um, articulation on this bad boy is pretty decent. I'm loving the fact that these guns can move backwards and forwards as well, which is nice. And they're fully articulated, you can make them look up and down, as well as left and right, and pull them back. The head is also on a ball drain, you can look up and down, left and right. Arms do lift up at that top hinge as well, and do also rotate. These pieces also lift up um, to allow more articulation. Double hinged elbows there, hands are on ball joints, which is nice. Um, there's a nice ab crunch there as well, as well as waist swivel. Legs lift out all the way, as well as forwards, backwards, top thigh cut, 
double hinged knees on these as well. No boot cut, but the feet are on rocker and pivot. And as well, they have holes in the bottom of the feet, should you wish to use a display base. Nice. And I'm loving the fact that War Machine as well does have that little um, scope on the side of his head as well. That's nice. Giving a full range of uh, motion and things. As well, what I think is going to be really cool is, uh, I know we've had sort of... Um, we could use this pretty well if you put a, if you put a um, Punisher head on there. You could make a Punisher War Machine as well pretty easily, and put a skull somewhere. You could have like uh, you could get the stencil of the skull and spray it over the top, just like he would, to make it look like he stenciled the Punisher symbol onto the to the suit. And you could have it as a bit of a uh, of a Punisher suit as well. Punisher's War Machine. It would look pretty badass. I'm liking all the guns and things on this one because you can lift the arm out, lift it up and out. Can we rotate that? Yeah, so you can. He's got a gun on there as well. Look. <laughs> Plenty of guns and things to play with on this thing. He looks awesome. He's got some good. You can tilt his head as well. You can tilt the head as well, which is nice. Got some wobble to it. Like so, we will put the port things in so they just slot into the feet. Like so. So you can make him look like he's flying. And then of course you can put these side sides. And have all these together. I can't lift him up with them though. It's going to be awkward to show you. But basically you can use those as effect pieces to have him look like he's blasting off. I'm flying away as a war machine. So that's pretty cool. I'm loving that unmasked head as well. Like I said, let's have a look at that on there. Let's pull them apart. Um, take their head off. Ooh. And pop the unmasked head on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Snazzy face. Loving it. The unmasked head's really nice. I'm doing a great job with that. So he has, yeah, on these as well, these also have holes, so you can put the, the little blast effects. Coming out of the ends there. Or even better, you can put the smoke ones on. Ooh, I thought I lost that on the floor then, I thought I will never get that back. So it looks like he's just finished firing. It's pretty cool. And then as well, he's got this other piece as well. Where is that gonna go? He does have this piece as well. Where's that? I can't figure out which weapon that's meant to be for. <laughs> but yeah, we've got another effect piece here with the strip. Oh, that's for this. Is that for this? Ah, okay. So it's he's like, done like a round. So it's as if he's put his arm out and done like a rounded shot. Like he's gone. It's meant, it's meant, like, it's meant to simulate like he's done a rounded sort of shot. I think. Probably wouldn't use that though. But yeah, plenty of effects pieces to be going on there. Plenty of nice little bits. Loving it. Nice. So many. If I was to sit now and put them all on off camera, there's so many effects pieces for this figure. So let's go ahead, let's do it. Right. Can you see what I'm doing here? If I put those on there, that on there, Put the little blast ones in there. There you go. <laughs> there we go. He's now got every effects piece that I can put on him. <laughs> right, cool. 
we'll leave him like that for when we go to the desk camp, so we'll leave that like that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> right, I think I've got him stood. Please don't fall. Okie dokie. And finally guys, we're going to move on to the Punisher. Now this is the one that I've been dying to mess with because I love the Biker Series ones. And these are so cool. So on the back of here we do have another nice artist rendering shot as well, uh, which depicts him on the bike. There's a nice artist rendering for the sides as well, which look cool. And of course got the big Punisher logo on the front. On the back it does have a write-up that states, Frank Castle rides through the night dispersing, uh, sorry, dispensing brutal vigilante justice. And finally, we've got a jet black motorcycle as well to go along with the multitude of other accessories that we've got, uh, sorry, of bikers that we've got so far. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same bike yet again, just redecoed. Not that I'm mad at that, to be honest. I quite like the bike. Yeah, I think it is. It's the Wolverine bike yet again. But this Punisher comes with a mass of gun accessories that look pretty decent. For a while we've had quite fantastic like fantasy styled guns with our figures. This is that actually looks like a little uh sort of shotgun, doesn't it? Actually looks like one. We've got the um regular face of the Punisher. Which is there. And then we've got the face that comes with the actual figure which is like a bandaged up version of it. It comes with an awesome looking machete and a baseball bat as well. So plenty of toys there for Punisher to be dispensing his anger with. And of course he does come with the helmet that he wore in the comic book, which I'm sorry but I do call the Doverkin helmet because look at it. I can hear Skyrim's music now as I'm bringing it towards you. Doverkin, Doverkin, Dover, Dover, Dover. <laughs> Love it. And then we've got the bike. Big chopper handlebars. Come on. There we go. Punisher there. And the bike. Yeah. No more bits. Nope. Not everything. Okay, so the bike. Oh, the bike even has a Punisher dial on it. I love that. That's pretty cool. And that just slots into there. No big mirrors on this bad boy this time. Nothing else to attach, just the one piece by the looks of it. There we go. Uh, the bike has got the usual little kickstand at the bottom to help it stand up, which is nice. He's even got a little license plate which says PNSH616. So that's the Punisher and 616 for the universe. Marvel 616, Earth 616. So that's pretty cool. Love that. And it's a nice solid black bike. So we can use that with multiple figures as well. It looks realistic enough. If you if you were to hide the back plate, obviously saying Punisher. When that you know with that license plate, you could use that with multiple other figures as well. A nice you could get a nice shot of Wolverine on the back of that um, blade as well would probably look cool on the back of that bike. But the figure itself is awesome looking. Um, it does come with that other head to make him you know to put him back to his non beat up version of himself. But nah, I definitely want to keep this version, uh, which is the sort of beat up version of Punisher. I like it. It looks good. It look it matches the style of the figure. Look at the face. He's been through the war zone and back. So his head is on a ball joint, so you can look up and down as well as left and right. These arms do also rotate up and sorry, do move up uh, with a click and do also rotate. There's also rotation at the hinge there as well as at the double hinge bicep. And hands are on a ball joint. You can crunch him forwards and backwards as well as with the waist swivel. Legs do lift out all the way, as well as forwards, backwards, top thigh cut double hinged knee there and rocket and pivot on the feet no boot cut or anything like that and the feet are on rocket and pivot 
He has no additional, he has no actual holsters or anything, and War Machine's fallen over. He has no actual holsters or anything uh, for any of his weaponry, which is a bit of a shame. Where is that effects piece gone? There it is. War Machine's effects piece falls. Yeah, he's got no additional holsters or anything for any of these weapons, which is a bit of a shame. I would have liked him to have at least a pistol holster. I know the figure doesn't come with a pistol, but it would have been nice to have a holster to put one in, because we've got thousands of pistols from Punishers over the years. But this Punisher comes with a boatload of accessories, my personal favourite being this helmet. <laughs> but he does come with baseball bats, which are pretty nice. So that's pretty cool, he's got the baseball bat that you can just pour into his hand there quite easily. Even the machete. Again, it's a solid machete. Um, that again, would port nicely with um, if you were to, if you needed a new one for your you know, for your Necker figure for Jason or anything like that. It's a decent looking machete, six inch scale. Because the, the Necker ones tend to break apart very flimsily. <laughs> then he's got the little submachine gun <coughs> and the Uzi, which I would probably have him dual wielding. It will go down if I force it, but I'm just going to show you these for easiness now. Uh, the guns also have holes in them, so you can actually use the pieces from the likes of the War Machine set here. Sorry, War Machine, I'm still in your fire piece. So you can port that in the end of the gun to give us the effect shot. So Marvel are delivering on that promise that they would give us more weapons and stuff that can use them. So... That's pretty cool. Shame that Uzi doesn't have that, but obviously it's got a longer muzzle. Um, but yeah, it doesn't actually have a hole to put the thing in. The shotgun does though, you can use two pieces for the shotgun. You wouldn't want to use these two pieces, I don't think. Or are you going to use, you're going to want two of the same size. The two that came with War Machine are different sizes. But again, you can use them. <laughs> so again, that's pretty cool. Nice. Or we could even use, use the smoke effects pieces on there, actually. That'd look nicer. Just have those aiming up and out. And have that up in the air like he's just fired it. So we're trying to go hold him. Start ringing me when I'm recording. So you could have that, like, I kind of envision that, like that. Like he's just fired that. And then if we take the other gun again, put the smaller effects piece in there, put that in that hand, yeah, get that finger in the trigger, come on, there you go, it looks really good with the effects. I'm actually going to keep those on there for when we go to the desk cam because they look pretty cool. I might actually get a shot of that as well. With the bike in the background. It looks pretty decent like that. Especially if he's firing from the hip. The arms on the Punisher are a little bit awkward. It's like, I don't know what's going on with the bicep. It's like the bot top part of the arm doesn't fit with the bottom part of the arm almost. The bice and the bicep's like a hindrance to him. You see what I mean? The, the two separate skin tones. The two separate skin tone colours, completely. Which is weird. It's like the biceps don't fit on the arm piece, and they've just forced it on. Because I can't quite get... I wanted him to fire that from the hip, but he can't really get the arm down any further than that, so he's kind of firing like that. 
which still looks weird, but I'll accept it for now. As well, I've noticed that for this Punisher, they've gone ahead and given him what look like sneakers. Because they're, they're definitely not, they don't look like boots in my opinion, they look like he's wearing sneakers right now. <laughs> right, but anyway, there he is, desk cam ready. Okay guys, we've waffled enough. We've looked at all the pieces on the main cam. Let's head on down for an overview on the desk cam, take a close look at some of these accessories and pieces. Secondary head sculpts and things, we'll take a look at everything on the desk cam. So let's onto the desk cam. So again, here is Moon Knight. I know I kind of dobbed on him in the beginning. It's an all right figure, not my favorite. It's not one of my favorite characters though either. Um, yeah. So I kind of I can kind of take or leave Moon Knight. I did pick this up as it was an exclusive, so it is a little bit harder to find. So I thought maybe in the future I can use him for a little bit of you know um, trade leverage or something. I don't know if somebody really wants him, but um. Yeah, I've, he plugged a hole in my collection as well. I've never had a Moon Knight. If I wanted to do a display with sort of the Marvel Knights and stuff, I, we would, I would want Moon Knight to be a part of that. So I've got one in case I needed one, is my is what I'm basically saying here. Um, not my favourite character, but by far means it's not the worst Marvel Legend I've ever owned. Like I said, I know a lot of people don't like it when you say this, because obviously it is an exclusive and it's hard to find or whatever, but... It is good for customs, you know what I mean? This is custom gold with all the solid white pieces and things like that. You don't see that very often. That cape as well is very cool. Would be good for an Emma Frost cape, maybe. Um, so, yeah, there is there is options available here. Guys, what are your thoughts on that Moon Knight? Those accessories are pretty dumb, by the way. Those little crescent moon things. I know it's in keeping with his character and what have you, but they don't even sit in his hand properly. So, for me, they haven't made a hand that even holds them, in my opinion. So that's a no. The other face sculpt is pretty cool. I love that, the, the sort of the black mask instead of the white. That really does look cool. And again, that's a nice different head that I wasn't expecting. So I love that. And uh, yeah, nice figure overall. Not my favourite. Moving on then, we've got the War Machine. A figure that we've been dying for for so long to get a comic book War Machine. And we finally have him and they didn't disappoint. This figure is awesome with the amount of accessories it comes with. The alternate head as well is very nice. And all these effects pieces. I mean, they've definitely done it justice. And we can always, again, we can use all these pieces with other figures as well. So it's great to pick up these delu deluxe packs and get all these accessories so we can animate other characters. Like you'll see with Punisher in a moment, we've used some of them on him. To really bring his scene to life. And I'm loving these new rocket pieces. Can't wait to use those with Iron Man as well. <laughs> a great war machine. And again, now I've got the comic book war machine. I think my comic book Avengers is complete now. I think. I need to go through and have a look. And then finally, guys, the Punisher. As you can see, I've used the white effects piece on the shotgun there. Got that above, sort of up in the air. As if he's just fired that. And now he's using the submachine gun. <laughs> Really cool. Loving the black on black. They have made that really pop with that white skull as well. I'm loving the fact that he's got like a bracy or holster thing around his neck as well, around the arms. That's pretty cool. And that brings us to the bike as well. Solid black bike with some nice red lights and things on it. Again, he's got the Punisher dial on this bike. Let me just move it out. It's got the Punisher emblem there on the bike itself. And a Punisher license plate tag NYC PNSH six one six. I love New York. So all in all, guys, three very good figures that I think are awesome. I'm glad I did this unboxing with them all together as well. I don't regret that. Everyone always says, "Do I regret when I unbox multiple figures at once?" And no, do you know what? I know that's like three videos that I could have had on the channel, but I think that this was more fun looking at a big, you know, set of figures. Especially when, like, Moon Knight, I wasn't overly big on him. War Machine's okay. It's a really nice figure. I love it, but it's, it's nice. Punishes the winner here. I think, obviously, I could have made a video all day about this guy, but I think these two, I'm glad I did together, as I think I would have struggled to try and fill out the time to get both of these. It would have been a quicker review. So I'm glad I did all three together, guys, and span this out for you, because you guys were asking for longer form content. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. But let's go back to the main cam, guys, and finish off today's video. So, guys, which was your favourite Marvel Legend that I opened today? Me, personally, definitely got to be the Punisher. Awesome figure. Not without his flaws, but I think they've done a great job. We're bringing this one to life. 
Guys, what are your thoughts? What are your you know favourites of today? Was it Moon Knight? Was it Punisher? Was it War Machine? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, guys, and you're new around here, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Insta for all of my action figure pictures and toy photography and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you.